Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial. Today I will show you how to model a brick disk like this with Autodesk Inventor. So let's go to File, click New, and start a new standard millimeter part and click Create. Now expand the Origin folder and start a new sketch on the XY plane. First, let's sketch a center line to, to use for a reference. So choose the line tool, snap to the origin, and sketch a horizontal line like I'm doing here. Press escape. Right click the, the line tool and click construction. Now choose your line tool again. Sketch something like I'm doing here. Horizontal line here, vertical one here line here, one here, like this. Now in a moment we will give all these line entities some, uh, some dimensions. So when you have sketched your geometry that looks like this, uh, choose your dimension tool. Start choosing this line and the center line. We give this one a dimension of 144. Zoom a little out. Now choose this line, this line. Give this one a dimension of 46.33. Give this one a dimension of 25. Give this one a dimension of 15. Make a distance here of 80.5. Choose this line and the center line. Give it a dimension of 74.125. Choose this one and the center line. Give this a dimension of 80.5. Choose this one and the center line again. Give it a dimension of 34. Give this one a dimension of 7.2. Now let's zoom a little in. Drag this one a little down. Choose your dimension tool again. Make a dimension between this line and our center line of 67.5. Give this little line a dimension of one millimeter. So now it is almost fully constrained. Let's click on the origin and control click this point and give it a, a vertical constraint. So now we see we need one dimension to have it fully constrained. And this is just our center line. Let's uh, make it, let's leave it unconstrained. So we have this geometry fully constrained now. Now go to 3D model and choose the revolve feature. And revolve around this one. Click OK to accept. Now let's change our view to have it shaded with edges. So go to view and in visual style, choose shaded with edges. Makes it a little more easy to work with, in my opinion. Now we need to start a new sketch on the, on the X and Y plane. So click the X, Y plane, right click and choose new sketch. Choose the rectangle tool, zoom a little in here, sketch a rectangle like I'm doing, and drag it a little out here. Choose your dimension tool, make a dimension between this edge and this line of 
7.5. Give this one a dimension of 10. Give this one a dimension of 22. And then sketch a line horizontal from this origin. We will use this for a reference. So right click this line, choose construction. Now make a dimension between this one and the center line we just created. Give it a dimension of 154. So this looks good to me. Now go to 3D model again and choose your revolve tool. Choose angle here in extents. Choose 15 degrees. Now make this symmetric and revolve around this one so it would look like this. Click OK to accept. We will have to make it as a cut, so right click this feature out here in the feature tree and choose edit feature and make sure you have cut chosen in here. Click OK. So this looks a little better. Now let's add some radius to these corners. So go to 3D model and choose your fillet tool. Now add a fillet to all these inside corners. And by default it is 2 millimeter with, with my settings. So make it 2 with, with your settings as well and click OK to accept. Now we will have to pattern this around. So go to 3D model if you're not already here and choose circular pattern. And we will like to pattern this feature and this feature. And we will like to pattern it around this one. We will like 20 instances. So click 20 and click OK to accept. Now we will have to make a revolve cut, so start a new sketch on the X and Y plane. Right click X, Y plane and choose new sketch. Let's zoom a little out. Choose your circle tool. Sketch your circle around here. Choose your dimension tool and give the circle a diameter of 12. Bring it up here. Now sketch a center line from the origin, which we will use for the revolve feature later. Right click it and choose construction. Choose your dimension tool and give a dimension between the center of the circle to this center line of 146.5. Give it a dimension between this edge and the center of 12. Sorry, let's make it 12.5, like this. Go to 3D model and choose the revolve feature. Revolve around this one. Make sure you have cut chosen in here. So click OK to accept. Starts looking good. Now we will add some chamfers in here. So in 3D model, choose your chamfer tool and chamfer this edge and this edge by three millimeters and click OK to accept. Now we will make some holes for the, the bolts to tighten up this, uh, this disc brake. So start a new sketch on this face, right click it Choose Start New 2D Sketch, choose your Circle Tool, sketch your circle around here, choose your Dimension Tool, and give the circle a dimension of 15.3. Make a dimension between the center of the circle and the origin 
of 56. Now control click the center of the circle and the origin. Oops. Give it a horizontal relation so we have it fully constrained now. Now we will make a, a cut through all. So in 3D model choose your extrude tool and in distance choose all and make sure to have cut chosen. It will choose that by default when you choose the all extent like this. Now add a chamfer to this edge and this edge of one millimeter. Click OK to accept. Now we will pattern this hole. So in 3D model, choose your circular pattern and choose to pattern this one and this fillet and we will pattern around this axis we will like five instances so choose five and click OK to accept now we will make some some venting holes in the disc break so click this face and click start 2d sketch choose your circle tool Sketch a circle around here. Give the circle a dimension of six millimeters. Give a dimension between the center of the circle and the origin of 88. Click OK to accept. Now exit the dimension tool. Control click the center of the circle and the origin. Make a vertical constraint. So we have this sketch fully constrained now. Go to 3D model and choose your extrude. And make a cut through all. And click OK to accept. Now we will make a path to pattern this hole. So start a new sketch on this face. Choose your arc tool. Snap to the center of this hole. Sketch an arc around here. Looks a little like this. Choose your dimension tool. Make a dimension between this endpoint and the origin. Zoom a little out. Give it a dimension of 30. Remember to, to save your part. Make a dimension between this endpoint and this endpoint of 38. Make a radius here of 40. So this fully constrains the sketch. Now finish the sketch. Go to 3D model and choose your rectangular pattern. We will like to pattern this feature. And we will choose this arc we just created as a direction one. Now down here, make sure you have curve length chosen. And choose five instances. Click OK to accept. Now we will pattern all these holes we just created around the, the disc brake. So choose circular pattern here in 3D model. And choose these instances. We will like to rotate around this one. And we will like 20 instances in total. So click OK to accept. So we are almost finished now. We will add some, some chamfers. So choose your chamfer tool. Give this edge and this edge a chamfer of two millimeters. Click OK to accept. Give this edge a chamfer of two millimeter as well. Now we will add some radius. So choose your filler tool and add a radius to this edge 
this edge in here and this one, give it a dimension of one. Click OK to accept. Finally, we will add a chamfer to this edge and this edge of one millimeter. So click OK to accept. So we have now finished our disc brake. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and you will find it useful. Thank you for watching. Bye.